Hi, Hi guys. guys! Today is the day 8 of our prayer series and today is Sunday. Happy Sunday everyone! Alright, ang saya eh. Aga-aga. Anyway, ang gusto namin pag-usapan lang natin lahat ay yung story na sobrang patok na patok sa atin ng kabataan natin. Patok na patok? <laughs> yung sobrang sikat na sikat talaga. No? Nasa Kids Church tayo, Children's Church, Sunday. Uh, ano pa ba yung mga tawag? Sunday school, Sunday school or elementary tayo, preschool tayo. Kilalang kilala natin to yung David and Goliath story. And we feel na parang, ha, papag-usapan natin yung David and Goliath dito sa prayer series na to. We feel na maraming, marami tayong matututunan about this story kasi ito yung time na parang shucks yung kinakaharap natin ngayon ay parang gulayat natin sa situation natin ngayong season na to. So sa mga hindi pa nakakailang kung hindi nyo kilala si David sa Goliath, gumawa lang tayo ng konting comparison. So si Goliath is a Philistine champion <coughs> and siya talaga ay super laki. Sabi dito 9 feet tall. Higante. And, higante talaga. At that time, talagang siya yung nagsa-stand out talaga siya. Kumbaga kaming dalawa siya yun. Ito si David. Ganto lang siya kaliit. Mas maliit pa dyan actually if kinocompare nila atin si Goliath at saka si David. Oo. Uh, and si Goliath is fully armored. Sanay na sa'yo na siya sa battle. And sabi pa dito, meron siyang armor bearer who walked ahead of him carrying a shield. So talagang protected, ready for battle, may armor, handa-handa talaga siya. Yung suit, Meron talaga din siya nun. And si David naman, on the other hand, is only a boy. And parang never siya naging part ng army ng, Isra- ng Israelites. Tapos ang ginagawa nila, inaalagaan niya yung sheep, inaalagaan niya yung goat ng tatay niya. So yun yung trabaho niya, yun yung ginagawa niya. So basically, hindi talaga siya equipped for any war, any battle. Pero, nung nakita niya na parang gabi naman to si Goliath, ha? talagang minamak mo yung mga Israelites. Sabi niya kay Saul, sabi niya, sabi ni David kay Saul, don't worry about this Philistine. I'll go fight him. So, sabi niya, sige, lalaban ko yan. Pero yung sagot sa kanya ni Saul ay, don't be ridiculous. There's no way you can fight this Philistine and possibly win. You're only a boy and he's been, he's been a man of war since his youth. So, talagang, wala na rin wala rin kay David na kaya niyang talunan si Goliath kasi nga parang, Paano mo siya tatalunin? And, ang pinanghahawakan lang talaga dito ni David ay yung sinabi niya na, The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from this Philistine. Kasi, may mga pumupunta na baka cub, may pumupunta na mga lion, bear, ina-attack yung sheep and goat ng father niya. Pero sabi niya, yung same God na nag-rescue sa akin dun sa mga, sa mga lion, bears na yon yun din yung magsisave sa akin from Goliath. And, so, pinayagan na siya na, sige, lumaban ka na dyan, ganyan. And ang, ang meron lang that time si David ay yung sling and yung bato niya. Kumuha siya ng mga limang bato. So, minamak din siya ni Goliath. Parang, ano, aso ba ako? Paano mo tatalunin ng ganyan? Eh, ang laki niya. Tapos parang meron siyang sword, ganyan. Tapos, David replied to the Philistine, You come to me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of Heaven's armies the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. And uh, verse 47, yung last part nun, sabi niya, this is the Lord's battle and he will give you to us. So si David talaga, yung faith niya and panglaban niya is, no, ang panglaban ko, ang armor ko, ay si God. So ang verse natin will be coming from uh, 1 Samuel 17 verse 50. So David triumphed over the Philistine with only a sling and a stone for he had no sword. Yeah, and gusto ko lang balikan yung shiner niya na verse 45 Then David said to the Philistine You come to me with a sword Si Goliath may sword with spear, with javelin na sobrang expert, expert mo but ako, sabi ni David ako, I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of armies of Israel. Kumbaga, ako kasama ko si Lord. Ako kasama ko si God. And yung sinabi din niya na, the, sabi ni David, the same God who rescued my, my rescued me from, who rescued me before mm-hmm. is the same God who will rescue me from Goliath. And that's, the, that's what we're gonna pray and declare and believe right now. The same God who rescued David 
is the same God that will rescue us from coronavirus, from COVID-19. And we are fighting this situation with the Lord. We are fighting this situation with God. God will fight for us. If that is our Goliath and this is who we are, na wala pa tayong solution, we still don't know if may vaccines or what, paano natin gagawin to, God will fight for us. So let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you because the same God of David is the same God what we have right now. Lord, thank you because you will fight for us. Thank you because even if we face this huge challenge or situation, God, you are bigger than this. You are the God of the universe. You created everything in this earth, in the universe. Lord, you can defeat this coronavirus, Lord. Lord, we would declare, God, that our faith would just be in anchored in you, Father. That no matter what happens, Lord, no matter what sin- situation, God, that we face, we're going to believe in you. We're going we're gonna to look to you, Father. Because in you, Lord, there's no... There's, there's the perfect... Sit- in you, God, ikaw yung makakapag-handle na to. You are a perfect God, Father. You can give us peace and comfort, God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, um, we come to you. And para kami ngayon, Lord, si David, sa situation namin, sa siso namin ngayon, na we are fighting coronavirus, na hindi kami equipped. We may not be fully equipped. We may not know kung saan ang galing tong coronavirus na to, hindi namin alam kung paano siya tatalunan. Right na wala pang solution or wala pang exact na vaccine for it, God. But I pray, Lord, that we would have faith in you, that we would place our trust in you, Lord, that the battle is yours, Lord. This is your battle, God. I pray that we would just trust you, that you will fight for us, God, that you would put an end to this coronavirus. You would put an end, Lord, sa fear, sa worry, sa anxiety, God. And I pray, God, that you will just be faithful every day, God. Yes, you will be like David, na brave and courageous because we know that even if mukha kaming maliit against the enemy, God, you will still fight for us. You are yes, bigger sir. than our enemies, yes, Lord. Sir. You will deliver us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So guys, we encourage you to have the same faith of David na magta-trust lang talaga kay Lord and just really pray also that you would um, trust God in this situation even if it's hard. Okay? Pray with your family.